hi guys welcome back to another video in today's video i'm doing a totally different video i'm going to be following world best nikki tutorials new trend for 2022 she said these trends are here to stay hello guys it's me nikki hello hopefully we like it we love what we see so yeah we're just going to watch nikki and just do our makeup and just get this whole face beat as you guys have seen so if you guys want to see you know the process of this look be sure to keep on watching yeah so let's get right into it Guess it's been a while. you guys i've gone ahead to prime and prep my face so we're going to check out the first thing the first trend nikki says we're doing for this year so yeah now a makeup hack when it comes to applying your foundation um, was actually created by XO Amira and um, she said that you have to apply your foundation with your hands first. Somehow it just kind of melts into the skin even nicer and makes this look even better. So let's... Okay, so the first thing we're doing is applying our foundation with our palms. So they make you feel better, whatever, about full coverage, whatever coverage, but I mean we're just going to try. <laughs> Mm. I'm she tried it, but she don't go back in it. Sound. Funny enough, this looks really nice. Mm. Okay, this looks good. It's just that the hand doesn't look good. Okay, so let's see what the next thing is. Um, yeah. My sponge and I start working it in even okay. more. Okay, I definitely feel like I had to work a bit faster with this technique because it's, it's kind of setting me. already and like it's, it. it's kind of not wanting but to kind of move in some places. Condition. I'm like, ah! Oh my god. Oh my god. Do I hate this? Is this a joke? Is this a joke to you? Is it? Last name. No, no, leave name. Just go and write civic at the passcode. Okay. Yes. I love it. What's next? Okay, next up is concealer. I feel like everyone has changed the way they apply their concealer because of TikTok and Reels because everyone is like applying it towards like the inner portion and like outside to like lift. But people have gone further and further and we're gonna try it out to lift the features even more. Okay, so we're starting off by just concealing the under eyes. So we're applying concealer. And then of course everyone has seen this, like we're skipping the center and we're just lifting on the outside. Move on the forehead. I don't know why I'm singing everything. And then people take a lighter concealer, like even lighter than that. And what they do, draw a line from underneath the lip upwards like that, but they also draw it right here. And I feel like. like from the nose upwards. And I feel like. <laughs> It's extreme, but it might work. I mean, in my mind, this could work. Like, this lifts, this lifts, and that lifts. Let's blend it in. Let's let's find out. And try to, like, not blend it in so you, like, don't see it anymore. You kind of want to see that lift. Oh, okay. Lift up. Lift up. Lift it up. Wait, is this actually going to work? What? See how it's, like, it's doing this? Well, okay. <laughs> is this really working? Huh? I think it looks good. What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. But I feel like this, especially like right here, it's like, ooh. Okay, what's next? Then. Mm -hmm. Once you have set the under eye, we can now move on to creams, creams, and creams. <laughs> For bronzer, I have a couple of favorites, but a new favorite has been this NARS Laguna Sunkissed Bronzing Cream. Um, it looks like this. It is a tad bit dark on me, but I do love the tone and how sunkissed it makes me look. And I use it with a brush. I just pick up a little bit with a brush and I bronze, I cream bronze the tops of my cheekbones, my forehead and 
and the tip of my nose. And if you've noticed, I've only powdered my under eyes because I don't want them to crease ever. While they are set and don't go anywhere, I can work on my face products. So I take the bronzer by NARS. Like I said, it's, it's dark. Don't come for me. We're gonna blend it out until it's beautifully airbrushed, but just using stippling motions and sort of like in a round pattern, so in a circle pattern, I am stippling this on to the highest points of my cheekbone. Forehead time, or should I say 10 head? Oh my God, got quite the real estate, huh? The drag queens would call this a beige rainbow. So you're kind of creating a beige rainbow on the forehead to make it look smaller, more defined, and sun-kissed. And then I usually take whatever is left in the brush and I put that on the tip of my nose to kind of like push that up. Now, once you've done this, of course, you're gonna look very, very bronzed, okay? It's almost like handsome Squidward. So I take my sponge again, and with the side of the foundation, I kind of trace where I've hit the face with the brush and make it even more airbrushed and flawless, blending everything together and making it one piece of art because baby, you are art. Once you have cream bronze, it is now time to move on to, of course, cream slash liquid blush. The placement of the liquid blush is very important as well. Don't place it like right here on the apples of the cheeks. We have been working on lifting everything up, so why put the blush there when it's like pulling it back down? Blush, ladies and gentlemen, nowadays and for 2022 goes right here. It's basically where you would put highlighter. Look at this placement. Look how it's like pulling everything up. Then I take my sponge again and I just take the side that I haven't touched any product with yet and I start bouncing. Again, the bounce movement, it in. Blend it out up onto the temples, to the ends of your brows, down here. Just make it super diffused and soft. Just don't apply too much, you know? It just adds that touch of color. I'm just gonna use a powder puff to set my face. Now, I highly recommend using a puff because you have way more control over where you place the powder and how much you're placing. And I just focus on areas that I want to lock in for the rest of the day. I'm not gonna do my brows off camera and then I'll be back with more trends slash makeup hacks you have to try for 2022. Okay, ready now brows off camera, so see you guys. I think when we look at eye makeup and just an overall look in general, Euphoria is here to slay the game another year. True. Why am I doing Euphoria makeup? No, not today. Absolutely not today. So we're going to just jump right into the next thing. Yeah, because we're not doing Euphoria makeup today. Thank you. Let's just do the makeup, eye makeup look that we want to do and forget about Euphoria for now. Because I'm, I, I don't think I have that power to add gems and all that. So we're just going to go in and do something very simple. Should I do pink? Should I not do pink? Let us try something, I don't know. Don't have to bronze. All we have to do is contour our nose. And all I do is just bronze my entire nose. I've shown you this hack a million and one times, but I'm gonna just show you again, because if you aren't taking this hack into 2022, I don't know what you're doing, baby. Now you're gonna take your face powder and carve out the sides. You can make your nose literally as thin as you like. And then you take a bigger fluffy face brush and kind of, you know, powder that away, kind of smear that away. And look, ooh! And something I've been doing lately is taking a pure white face powder. This one is by MAC. And I take a really tiny brush and with white, I just highlight the bridge plus the tip. And then I take that brush again and kind of brush it away softly. So it leaves just the slightest effect and you have the most perfectly contoured nose in what, a couple of minutes. It's my favorite technique. Every time I get to this part of my makeup routine, I like get so excited about it because I love it. It's fast, it's easy, and it's pretty. Ooh. 
This lip hack you have to try in 2022, concealing just the corners of your lips upwards. World of a Difference, watch. Right here. Right there, just, just that corner. See that difference? To seal the deal, I am using my Set It and Forget It setting spray by Nimia, aka the best setting spray on the market. I think I like this 2022 face. Ooh, I can wear this for the rest of my life. I love it. And that is my look completed using the 2022 Makeup Trends and Hacks that you absolutely have to give a try at some point this year. I mean, ooh. Definitely let me know in the comments down below what your favorite trend slash hack was of this video, plus what I should try next. You guys, so this is the finished look, and I think I enjoyed this tutorial, actually, even though I was dousing it, but then it looks perfectly beautiful, and I will be trying this trend more often, even though I won't be doing the foundation on the skin, because that was really, really gross. Anyways, yeah, so if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, shout out to Nikki, thank you for this trend for 2022. I'm excited, see you guys on the next one, bye!